All right, fair warning, guys. Don't get into buying vintage lenses because you're going to end up spending all your money on vintage lenses. And this isn't even my whole collection. There's, If you check out the website, I got uh, tons of vintage lenses, sample photos, write-ups, and whatnot. So if you're into vintage lenses, definitely check that out. But in this video, we're going to talk about how to mount these old M39 mount lenses onto modern mirrorless cameras. I'm going to be using Canon here, but if you're using Sony, uh, Fuji, Nikon, or anything like that, this information will apply to those uh cameras as well so let's talk about it because there are two different types of m39 lenses slrs and rangefinders and that's where things can get confusing if you're new to all of this all right so let's talk about how to mount m39 lenses to modern mirrorless cameras so this is the m39 mount right here it's just a screw mount similar to the m42 slightly smaller but uh, that's it and the thing to keep in mind is there's two types of m39 mount lenses this is an slr m39 mount slr standing for single lens reflex this type of camera and the other type is rangefinder lenses and they also have m39 mount lenses the problem is the distance from the back of the lens to the film plane with an slr and a rangefinder are different so you have to make sure you get the right adapter So let's move on to adapters. Okay, so the thinner adapter is the one for the rangefinder lenses and the thicker adapter is the one for the SLR lenses. Now, if you're shooting with Canon, you'll notice one says RF, one says EOS R. I don't know why these manufacturers do this. I mean, the mount is an RF mount. So some adapters say EOS R, some say RF. So just keep that in mind if you're shopping for adapters for Canon cameras, it's the same thing. Um, okay, so let's get into this part here. So if you notice this one says M39 and this one says M42. So I can't seem to find, and I've looked all over the internet, I've had these lenses for years, I can't seem to find an M39 to EOS R adapter for SLR M39 lenses. I can only find them for rangefinder lenses. Right, so if uh, any manufacturers out there want to make one, uh, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll pick one up or review it or something. So, yeah, so in any case, the tricky part here is that because the rangefinder lenses and SLR lenses both have M39 mounts, they'll both fit on these adapters. So if you bought this adapter by accident like I did and learned the hard way, You'll notice it mounts onto the camera, everything is good, and then when you go to focus, nothing focuses because the distance from the back of the lens to the sensor is not correct. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you have an SLR lens like this Helios 40, you definitely want the thicker adapter. This is for the rangefinder lenses. Now the other thing too, like I said, is these adapters say M42 to EOS R. So in order to use them, you have to adapt your M39 to M42 with this little adapter. So this is a little ring here and you notice there's a little notch in there. So you wanna make sure that notch is facing away from the lens, so outward. In case it gets stuck on there, you can use a little screwdriver or something to um, nudge it loose. And of course, if you use needle nose pliers or something, make sure you have some cloth or paper towel. You don't wanna bend these threads. So now that we've adapted our M39 to M42, we can use our M42 adapter. We screw that lens onto there. and we can mount it to the camera. And now it will work. So there we go. That's how you adapt M39 SLR lenses to your modern mirrorless camera. All right, so there's one more thing you have to do after you mount your lens to your cameras. You have to tell your camera to release shutter without lens. I have a video talking about that over there if you wanna go check that out if you don't know about that. So yeah, companies like Sony, for example, that setting is automatically on in the menu by default. Canon, it's not on, so you have to go turn that on. All right, and here's a bonus tip for those of you who shoot with the Helios 40 or any of these old M39 lenses. The coatings on these lenses are terrible, so if there's any kind of bright light source, shooting towards the lens in any way creates low contrast, ghosting, flaring, all sorts of stuff. So I highly recommend picking up a little adapter. This lens in specific has a 66 millimeter filter thread, which is very uncommon. So you're gonna have to get a little bit of a step up ring, 66 to 67. And you can find these on eBay, no problem. Not a big deal. And once you have your 67 millimeter filter thread, you can add a lens hood. 
So if you are shooting with the Helios 40 and you don't want to get tons of flare, ghosting and low contrast shots, I suggest uh, adapting a lens hood to it. All right, and there you go. Now you know how to mount your M39 SLR and rangefinder lenses to your modern mirrorless cameras, and you know which adapter you're going to need. So you're welcome. And if you're into vintage lenses or you're curious about vintage lenses, definitely check out my website. I've got a whole section just dedicated to my vintage lenses, and I have sample photos, I have little write-ups, some of them have reviews, and eventually I'm gonna have full reviews and YouTube video reviews of all these lenses. So if you wanna help me out, if you wanna show support for this vintage lens adventure, leave a thumbs up on this video let me know that you like this content and you want more of this kind of content and i will definitely be making more vintage lens videos and some photo shoots i definitely want to do some full-on photo shoots with these lenses because they have such unique character that you just can't get with modern lenses so i mean anyway i'm just going to start ranting here so i'm going to stop myself we'll save that for another video thank you for watching i appreciate that you guys are here to the end and i will see you guys in the next video till then keep shooting have fun enjoy your lenses